feel a little bit raining. It's raining. on the situation. Last Sunday it poured raining and if it, with the AC hanging the way it was, it's been like that since I got it. So I don't have to replace the roof and I plan on doing that last because I did the last one on the other one of Vago first and as you all recall the tree fell on it after I did that. So this one's getting suspension first then the roof and it won't get parked under a tree. But anyways, since I had since day one, I had a hole right under the air conditioning onto the floor, pushing the front where the air conditioning was up. And I have had no problems with leaking at all, all this time. Well, since I cut the floor out, I can't put the hole back in there. I tried putting it a little further forward. And when I came in Monday, the, it was just all water everywhere it's in here. So this week I had to spend the beginning of the week ripping all this down. As you can see, it's plywood. It's actually two sheets of plywood. That's not how it's supposed to be. It's really, it's only made out of styrofoam, a thin piece of wood on the bottom, and the aluminum roof, which would have been great because that would have been real easy to get out. This stuff was like soppy, wet wood, and it was, it took me forever. It made a giant mess. I have pictures. But, um, so now I'm good. I got this all cleaned out, and the roof's up. And we're only leaking in a couple little tiny spots, so I'm gonna I pop that up just so I don't have to worry about it. I put the braces across the, the walls, holding the roof up. So that's cool, at least it'll get me until I get this thing set on the ground. I gotta do the roof. It'll be good for them. But. Okay, what we got here is a winch. I can't jack the rear end up and down. It took us like a good hour to get that thing all the way up, me and Rob banging it around and you know, ratchet strapping it up, but you can't like ratchet strap it back down. So what I did is I bought a cheap ATV winch and I'm gonna weld this bracket across the top of the two frame rails. That way I can raise it up and down as much as I want while we're figuring out the pinion angle for the drive shaft. Cause that's really the only thing I got left to figure out. But that'll get it so I can lift it like three feet. It needs about three feet to hit the ground. There's no jack that's going to lift it three feet, so. <laughs> plus it's sketchy, it's like, it's heavy. You got to hold it? For now. Right now I'm trying to get that winch, I made a little bracket for it. We're going to weld the winch bracket to the top of the frame rails. So that way we can lift up that, drop the jack stands out of the way, and lower that. You can see it's, you know, good two and a half feet to the ground. And I might even take the tires off and make the axle go further. So it might have to move like three feet. That would be nice to have three feet of travel in the back. Because that will make a really cool drain wheel if that works. So this is what's going to do that. Instead of trying to use a jack and precariously set that axle up on that, we'll... We use the wedge and I can go up and down as much as I want and watch the pinion angle, which is the huge thing here, so the drive shaft will still work. And I mean, I can't have it drop and the pinion angle drop. It needs to kind of flow into the, keep it pointed at the transmission, which isn't ideal as far as what you want to do with the pinion angle, but it's compromises on something like this. And I'm not putting high horsepower or nothing to it. I would never beat on it or I'm not going to try spinning the tires or nothing. That ain't what I'm trying to do. So. I just want to get the, as much articulation as I can out of this thing and get it to move up and down as far as I can. That winch is going to get that done. I can do it as much as I want, raise it up and down as much as I want, move the pivots around, the ends of the links around until I figure out the ideal spot. And then we'll figure out where the cylinders are going to mount. 
then we get to set it on the ground. Coming soon. Good. Probably why that wall looks the way it does. <laughs> but this is how the roof was made. This is just a piece of, well, it was thicker, you know, but it's only a piece of like paneling. On the inside and right behind that is styrofoam. That's how the roof was made. Actually, it's the styrofoam right there. It's styrofoam. And on the outside of that is the aluminum wall. That's how this whole thing is made. <laughs> There will be no hopping in. Pre-adjusted. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get the switch. There we go. All right. Well, I'm gonna get those jack stands out of there. Carry it back. I need to kind of balance it a little bit, stay out of the way in case it falls, kind of thing. There we go. Cable slipping on the spool. Yeah. It'll tighten up. Yep. Woo! Slip yoke sliding out. Actually, the pinion angle doesn't look bad at all. I like it. <laughs> it, looks, it looks good front to back, too. Like, as far because the arms are so long, it didn't push the, push the wheels very far forward. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're, it's a perfect happy medium. Right. I mean, if I do that, it's even a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, actually, it looks really centered. A hair forward, but you need that because it's got to be fine when it's up. The idea is I want it to be able to, to three wheel. So we need to shift the weight to the rear. So if the axle shifts forward, bonus. <laughs> that far and leave it that way but I mean just for testing yeah let's try it let's bring it up and see what it does see what it looks like when it's up right sounds good to me 